Hi everyone, welcome to April 1st, 2024. Lisa Douglas Doe here, your leadership and life coach. I wanna thank you for logging on today. And if you're new, thank you for watching all the way to the end, okay everyone? Listen, I wanna hear from you. What is it that you have accomplished over the last three months? Can you believe we are already a quarter of the way through the year? I don't know where March went, it just went, it's like when they talk about March madness, it really is madness that we have already gotten through three months in this year. So it's been a lot of great work happening on our end, not just professionally, but also per, uh, personally, because I think you guys may know my story that I have a regular W-2 job. I have my coaching business. My husband has a lot of things going on on his side. We have twins. Uh, my son has special needs. And my daughter is about to go off to college in the fall. Can you believe that? So I feel like I'm her virtual assistant, well, real assistant in person, right? Because she's also going through the process of applying for scholarships because it's just crazy out here for the amount of money they're asking for people to pay for college. Who knows what I'm talking about, right? So you know me, I'm trying to get the net price as low as possible. So she's applying for scholarships and all that good stuff so that way we can make the bill as low as possible, all right? And the other thing we're doing, or I'm going in the process of doing, is my son, who has special needs, we actually are going through the process of applying for guardianship for him. Because when you have developmental delays, you can't be an advocate for yourself. So if there's parents out there with special needs, um, make sure you get your, um, I think it's in some states, it's in our state in New Jersey, it's called guardianship. But in other states, it's called... Um, Man, I forget the name. It's the, the thing that they were talking about with uh, Britney, Britney Spears, where um, her parents had uh, her, um, the thing, her dad had her conservatorship. That's the word. It's called conservatorship in other, in other uh, parts of the country. So we're also going in the process of filling, those paper, filling that paperwork out, getting that file with the court, so that way everything is good to go for Aiden. Um, and he's actually going to stay in his school to age 21. It's a really good program that they have teaching them vocational skills so that way he can eventually be a little bit more independent and be able to get get out there and start doing a little work hopefully uh, later this year in September. So now today what I wanted to talk about is getting stuff off your chest. Some of us, I'm one of them, we hold things in, we allow things to bubble up, we get stressed out, and we wonder why we're not feeling well. I can tell you guys, it literally took me about six weeks to get rid of that bronchitis that I had back in February. I just started to feel really much better last week. And it's been over a month. Why? Because uh, as women, sometimes we hold things in. We know that we need to either talk to our spouse about things, talk to our best friend or a, a really good friend. Maybe there's something going on in the family that you haven't addressed. And we keep these things bottled in and we never get it done. And it causes us to have health issues, okay? So I encourage you, take the time to communicate with those around you. You know why? Because it'll allow you to feel better. It'll allow you to get things out in the open so that people are all clear on the same page, right? Um, there's no misalignment on expectations. So I really employ ladies for you guys to get that done. The other thing I got done in March was I got a mammogram. So I want to make sure that everyone, all us ladies, are putting our health, put, put your health first. You have to get your physicals. You got to get your mammograms. I also got the OBGYN uh, done as well. Ladies, we have to get all these things done because I know we're thinking, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. However, what's going to happen if you're no longer here? I've had that thought. When I'm at the doctor's office, I'm like, you know what? If, if, if I'm not if I'm not here, what's going to happen? So we have to take care of ourselves first so that we can be here for our spouse. We can be here for our children and see them grow, okay? So please let me know if you're getting those things done. I want you to put in the comments if this was a good reminder for you so you can go ahead and go ahead and schedule your doctor's appointments, all right? Just put it in the comments below. So um, today, I'm not going to be long. I just wanted to reach out and say we're in a new month. If you don't beat yourself up, if you didn't achieve your goals in the first quarter of the year that you may have written down in all your various notebooks, right? I know I'm one of them. I have a few notebooks myself. But you have to remember to go back, give yourself some grace, write down what it is that you want to accomplish over the next quarter. 
Heck, not just the next quarter. What are you going to do in the month of April? I want to see you put it in the comments so that way we can keep each other accountable, all right? I'm happy to say that one of my goals that I made at the beginning of the year was to be have a closer relationship with God, right? I decided I was going to start reading the Bible. I've never read the Bible before, but I'm happy to say that I have a program that allows me. It's one of these apps where it has been allowing me to read a few passages, a few chapters every day. And then there's a recap uh, on what, I, what it is what it is I just read. I also want to give a shout out to my older sister, Adrian. She actually sent me a nice, uh, beautiful Bible that I'm able to use and follow along with. And the other thing I want to mention is that, um, you know, we used to go to church on and off and we hadn't gone in a long time, right? But I have to say that I'm excited that my daughter actually was invited to go to church service in, um, I think it was in February or March, in, in early March. She's in the Big Brother, Big Sister program, right? And her big sister asked us, oh, would you guys be okay if I took Layla to church service? And I was like, sure, go ahead. It's no problem. It's fine. So guess what? When she went to that church service, she actually came home and told me that Layla got saved. We weren't even there. She did it on her own. I was so excited for her. And Layla was just like, yeah, I decided to raise my hand and go up to the front and say the prayer. And um, they gave me this nice Bible. So when she came home, I was so excited when her big sister told me that. And so we wanted to keep up, uh, make sure, keep up the momentum of going to church. So I'm happy to say we have been going on Sundays. I even went on Friday night for Good Friday. Um, with Le uh, we go we go with Layla so that way she wants to stay connected and continue to build her own relationship with God. So I say all that to say, <laughs> everyone, is that whatever your goals are, please write them down. Share with an accountability partner. You never know what it is that you're doing that may. Uh, transform someone else's life. My goal was to become, to build a better relationship with, with God. And by, by, I don't even know how it happened, but just by that invitation of my daughter going to church, now she is starting to build her own relationship with God as well, which is make, it's, I'm just so proud and excited for her at the same time. So I want to hear from you, put in the comments, what it is that you're going to achieve in the month of April. I'm going to be back tomorrow so that we can continue our conversation this month and so that we can keep each other accountable. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts on in the comments below. I'm here for you. Thank you so much for logging in. Talk to you tomorrow.